Hey everyone, it's James again, and I'm back with a brand new episode of Music Biz News. Twitter made headlines at the end of November when it announced that it was planning to delete any account that had been inactive for six months or longer. Now this seemed like a good idea at first, because there are a lot of desirable Twitter handles that are currently not being used but are claimed. For example, at Auxcord hasn't been used in years, but with the right person behind it, it could be a thriving music account. Before Twitter could move forward with this decision, however, a problem came to light. There is currently no way to memorialize the accounts of the deceased on Twitter. So if a loved one has died but was once active on Twitter, their account would be at risk of deletion through the company's new plans. Twitter listened to users and has since announced that it is going to back off on their plans to delete all the inactive accounts until it finds a proper way to memorialize the deceased. This is a good thing, because for once, we see a social media company listening to its users and acting on the information that they give them. I think a lot of other sites could learn from that. TikTok has been at the center of many music industry success stories in 2019, but the company is ending the year on a bit of a down note. Recently, TikTok admitted that it had been hiding content from certain users in an attempt to prevent cyberbullying. But what was really happening is that TikTok was censoring people who were overweight, members of the LGBT community, and or disabled. So if I was somebody who was overweight and I was posting to TikTok and my account had been flagged as being vulnerable to bullying, the company would not share my content with its user base at large. Instead, it would restrict it to only people in my area. Now, I think that what TikTok was trying to do is smart. They want to curb bullying, but they should be trying to teach people not to bully rather than keeping people who they suspect to be vulnerable from having their content exposed to other people. The beauty of social media is that it brings us all together and exposes us to people from all walks of life. And TikTok needs to be embracing that because its community is filled with people who might otherwise consider themselves outliers. As you can expect, millions of people in the TikTok community are upset about these allegations that have come out against the company, but TikTok claims that it has changed all of their policies and that they are no longer censoring content for members of those communities or any other while it reevaluates ways to combat bullying online. Spotify is currently testing an advertising tool in the United States that allows artists and record labels to purchase pop-up ads that encourage people to check out a specific album or song. Users of Spotify will recognize these ads because they've been appearing as a recommendation tool for the better part of the last year. They look just like this. But there's a problem with this rollout. Spotify announced this week that every click on these ads costs 55 cents and that each ad has a minimum investment of $5,000. If every click equals at least one play, that's 9,000 plays for your $5,000 investment. That sounds good at first because 9,000 plays is 9,000 plays, but if we put that into a revenue calculator, 9,000 plays only equals about $36 in Spotify revenue. So you're paying $5,000 in hopes of making $36, and that math doesn't add up. Everyone from the majors to the independents to the small labels that don't have any marketing budgets are very concerned because it seems like Spotify is introducing a pay-to-play feature that vastly benefits Spotify in the long run. The company, at least up till now, has not commented on the situation, but due to the outrage that's growing online, I think it's likely we'll see a change in this pricing structure before or even if the tool ends up going wide to the public around the world. Those are the biggest headlines in music this week, but real quick, if you have a second, please click the subscribe button down below. We are creating a ton of content here at Music Biz, and we want you to be a part of it. We upload three to five videos every single week all about the music industry, how to survive it, how to make it through, and how people in the industry are doing right now, and we want you to be a part of it, so please, please click that button. And if you do that, or if you don't do that, at the very least, take care of yourself, because you deserve it.